Taurus. Um, how are you? Thank you so much, first and foremost, Taurus, for your support um, through, for the channel. Uh, we have grown ridiculously, and uh, you're part of that. Thank you so much for your contributions to the channel and just being part of this channel's growth. So I am grateful for you, and on this week of Thanksgiving, I hope that you are enjoying all the delicious things that your life, your family, and, I mean, your your oven and your stove have to have to offer. So Taurus, let's get into your reading. Um, what really kind of shocked me or surprised me about uh, this week's reading was how completely definite it was. How there's this sense right now, I, in, in fact, there could be some sort of trying issues or conflicts with your body image, what you feel about yourself, or just how healthy you feel in general, which can make um, which can make this week a little bit kind of pressing or a temp, uh, you know, it potentially disastrous if you are too hard on yourselves. So don't be too hard on yourselves. Remember, it is the holidays. It is time to celebrate. But there is something that's going on that's making you extra press yourself, extra push yourself into a kind of sense of, um, I don't want to have to need this. I don't want to have to need, you know, this attention or this approval or this extra plate of mashed potatoes. I don't want to have to need this. And it's going to be difficult. There's going to be a struggle. A struggle between your comfort zone and that zone that you actually want to get to, that kind of way about yourself that you actually want, what, like like who I am now versus who I want to be. Um, now, here's my advice. Don't let who I want to be be guided by what you think is popular or what you perceive right now as it, as what is correct and what is right. Like, don't allow yourself, because remember, Uranus is still very much impacting the way that you think. And there's a sense of that popular belief kind of impacting what you want to sort of adjust yourself to or adjust your your image or, or concepts of beauty to. Challenge it, rebel against it. Use that rebellious sign of, of Uranus and say, I, I, I'm challenging that. I don't, I don't want to necessarily go along with the flow. You know, I, I, I want to really get to the heart. What you really want to do, especially this week, is get to the heart of um, uh, what it is that makes you you and what it is that you really love out of life and finding a way to feel extremely comfortable with your body, with yourself, with um, who you, you want to be and understanding that you, you have control of that. You, you do. Um, there will be those challenges, physical challenges, you know, wanting an extra piece of pie or, you know, what, what if you do want an extra piece of pie? Should you stop yourself? Should you should you be so worried about sort of your like like, uh, you know, like like how, what you perceive is the best of you and then to the point where you don't really let yourself be happy. This is that time when you go over and you under start to understand what's good, what's bad, what's right, what's wrong for you. You, uh, what you have to let go of to stop, you know, to stop any kind of, um, kind of like pressure on there. There is some, there is some pressure on yourself. I'm telling you right now, a, a big part of this has got to do with the fact that somebody new or a new opportunity has entered into your life. And it's really exciting. But ultimately, what I would encourage you to do is not make any decisions or huge uh, decisions about your life or changes to your life before you even really know if this person or this opportunity is worth it. Um, there's some sort of communications coming in. It could be a business communication. It could be a love letter. It could be text or something like that that's coming in. Um, right now, there seems to be a huge pressure, like a dominant pressure on you. It's almost like you're dominated by your friends, dominated by your society, your public, whatever that is. I mean, if you're 60 years old, you're probably not as dominated by your friends anymore, right? It's not like you're in college or in high school. But ultimately, um, it could just be pressure from your social circle, um, it, even if that includes your family or from your work group your work cir circle but it's it's not that it's a it's a bad thing it's just become it's it's become the main thing so there could be a sense of a little bit of dissonance there if your family wants you around but you want to, you prefer to hang out with your friends maybe you're seeing your friends for the first time in a long time finally getting to chill with them again or you know there's this sort of this clash between um 
what's expected of you and what you actually really want to do, curbing your sense of self-judgment, but also curbing your shallowness, you know, cur curbing your need to overindulge and let yourself be overly accessible to those life indulgences, uh, you know, those luxuries in life. Ultimately, it's not going to be the easiest week for you, um, but it is going to include some exciting reveals, um, exciting opportunities. Um, you know, and, and in a lot of ways, these opportunities can start to clash with your social circle as well. There's some sort of communication that's coming in from somebody. This would be communications from a man, or if you are, you know, you you identify as a man. Um, uh, communications either coming into you, or you learning about something, realizing something, or actual communications like hearing, getting getting a letter for well, not a letter, real letter, but you know, like who sends a real letter? And what could be, could be some official paperwork, but really the place to put your energy this week is on yourself, taking care of who you are and really making sure that everything that you do from the way that you wash your hair to the, to the way that you do your nails, to the way that you um, dress yourself, that you are appreciating yourself and respecting yourself um, and devoted completely and totally Devote like so. Yes, you're adorning your temple, but you're devoted toward your primal self to those things deep down inside of you, your deep desires, what really lights your fire and inspires you, not what you feel like you need to be outside of yourself. That could really um, come into, in other words. I guess what I'm saying is take the tangible world, Taurus, and use it as a way to get into your internal world. Take what is around you, what you can affect right now, and start to rearrange it in a way that makes you feel strong and in control and, and just happier about who you are in life itself there is a sense of a little bit of sloppiness a little bit of messiness coming in this week and you will have to address that you will have to address whatever clashes that happened between your family life and your social life um you'll have to sort of like the good part about it is it's almost like instantaneous karma it's like you'll have to deal with it right then it's not going to be something that's subverted but there is a sense of you really being focused on getting your life together, figuring things out, um, smoothing over any kind, like ironing out those clothes, clearing out those closets, going and getting a new uh, a new wardrobe if you want it, if you need it. Um, basically taking care of yourself, grooming yourself, especially if you feel like you've let yourself go or you haven't been really on, on, on point with... Um, your exercise routine, what you're eating. It's, it's difficult. Uh, it's, it's difficult. I know during this season, but ultimately, um, there's that sense of it's, it's, it's more less about what you're eating and more about sort of how you're decorating your home, how you're adorning yourself, how you're doing your hair. It's reminding yourself of the beauty of yourself by ensuring that you, uh, by, by doing tangible things right like i said doing your hair look at this decorate give yourself the best clean up your mess this is a lot about personal grooming um I'm, like i'm not trying to say that all tauruses are scuzzy or but this is a sense of you will be driven or you will find a way to sort of focus your mind right now um on those things that uh in other words, you a fo you'll find you'll find that it helps you to focus your mind to start getting your external world into order. That's what you look. And it's not just about focusing your mind on you know the nice haircut. It's about what your nice haircut like feels or like does for your personality and how it show like helps you helps you to physically focus. Um, on um, being the best of yourself or demanding the best of yourself you know, clearing away all the shit that doesn't really matter anymore. What I really think a lot right now from looking at these cards is that there is that sense of like almost like excitement, but tension that comes in. Am I going to hear from him? Am I going to hear from her? Are they going to call me? Oh my God, they called me. What does this mean? Do they get invited over to see the family? Um, are they going to come over? Do they want to come over? How do I look? There is some like like, because, you know, Venus just went into Scorpio, yo, and I'm serious, it's, it's in opposition to, um, um, it's in opposition to, um, 
um, Uranus, which is in Taurus, right? There's just this thing of, there's just this thing of um, kind of like, trying to look at the cards too it's just this thing of 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 like wanting to show up and wanting to look good and um but feeling the pressure of it on you um also just that's not a good way to explain it you want to show up at your best that's what you want you want to turn out you feel you feel like you're not good enough you know um you, you just feel like you, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to live up to expectations. There's just a sense of like going the extra mile to challenge any of those, um, um, self-conscious feelings inside of yourself. Um, because somebody's calling because you expect, I don't think you expect the call. I think you're going to get the call. You know what I'm saying? Uh, call your spirit home and let go and flow, um, being true to yourself. But also I, th I think literally, um, having to reel yourself back in for a second, like coming back into you instead of letting that, you know, your social group, like really impact you so much, maybe even being set up by some, with somebody for somebody, them sort of pressure you or kind of getting caught up in the moment because your friends like him or that your friends want to bang her but they're in a relationship like this sense of like pressure from your group on this relationship it's fun though I have to say this isn't like hard this is like this is fun this is playful this is there's a lot going on right now socially for you and if you're not single that's still the case you know that's still the case of your social life or your friends or all you know a bunch of people really impacting somehow your relationship putting some kind of pressure on it um, but you definitely are wanting to turn out your best performance, especially in the way that you look. Open your heart is here. Open your heart, but it's sitting right next to detox. So this is a sense of, um, this is a sense of open your heart to clean it out, to let all the, like all the, let all the moths out, to get out all that grunge and nastiness that was maybe blocking you from a, from a more intimate relationship with your spouse or a more, um, um, or a more uh, a, a more intimate relationship with somebody somebody new, just sort of avoiding it or blocking it, um, a blocking that heart space. I also heard in my head um, using your friend group, using your friends or your social life or even your work as a means to escape and avoid intimacy with somebody or a conversation with somebody that needs to happen. Um, maybe you've been spending a lot of time being extremely social. No, I'm not saying cheating or anything like that. I'm just saying you've been, um, you've been deciding or, um, prioritizing, um, those things outside of your romantic relationships. And now all of a sudden there's butterflies where you didn't, you didn't feel them before. Um, there's there's opportunities where they weren't before, and this is sort of a quick switch for you. So there's a little bit of discomfort, and so but it's not bad discomfort. It's almost like oh oh. So I'm I'm going to be seeing I'm going to be seeing her this weekend. Um, um, I'm just going to go get my hair done. I'm going to I'm going to shave. You know, I know it's like no shave November, but that doesn't mean you can't like trim it up and groom it and comb it out. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like there, there's just a sense of like, kind of like kind of wanting to be on point right now. Something has made you extra aware of how you look and how you feel. Um, and it, it's coming from your heart space, a place in your heart that you haven't felt beating for a while. Share your gifts. So this is a strong urge to open yourself up once again. Um, it's also a strong urge to want to, you know, be very public and be very social and, um, you know, give, give, give and, and be in an environment where you're like going to be constantly giving and receiving. You sort of, you might be running the show this year. Like you may be putting on the Thanksgiving dinner. You may be the ones that are hosting um, in the position of, and that could be distracting you as well, in, dis, in the position of organizing everything and all the pressures of getting everything together could be ba basically distracting you from what's most important, which is the love that you're supposed to be building. Decide the outcome. Some sort of decision here. I, I, I just really can't help, but this is like, 
this is that sense of like deciding, am I going to, you know, go out on this first date with them? Like, am I going to like kind of that, that kind of tension? It's not bad tension, but or, or a sense of, do I want to take this project? You know, do I want to get into this uh, organization? Um, what like I'm excited about there. You are, you're excited about something, but you're not completely sure of it. And I think mostly it's because you, you are going to recognize this week that you've let a little bit of yourself go. Um, and that could very well have been your heart space, not even necessarily the way that you look, but your heart space and what it is that you really want out of life and paying attention to uh, deep connections instead of just fun, quick ones. Uh, and then you have this, which means that there is something about you that is sticking up to those rain clouds, those clouds, those um, the loom, the, the doom and gloom, you're facing it. So that's what gives me actually hope. Um, there's like this little light in the dark that you refuse to uh, kowtow or or give in to um, the pressures that are coming from the outside. You're you're focusing on your little light shining in your heart, and and you you refusing Taurus to allow yourself to be distracted from that heart space right now. Let's get into your spirit guide messages. And here's your energy, which is really strong, powerful, uh, really connected to spirit. So that could be that little light that's shining inside of you right now. A connection to spirit, your spiritual self, your ancestors, understanding, realizing how much abundance you have. Gratitude, being grateful. Um, also that sense of completion, a sense of I've earned something. I finished something. I've concluded something. Uh, plus I have. I have so much. There's so much abundance around me all the time you're surrounded by abundance which is a beautiful thing so it's like it's twofold it's almost like you're like yes thank you so much spirit for surrounding me with the abundance right now but ultimately trying to have to pull back a little bit from getting completely lost in it this is also a deep connection with spirit a deep connection with yourself a deep connection with what is good and healthy for you spiritually as well as physically and then you have trust in divine detours <laughs> Something coming out of the blue in Sagittarius season, coming in there and throwing you a curveball. And this curveball is going to knock you upside your damn head. And it's going to take you off guard and and in the best sense, because this is playful energy. This is allow it to take you off course. Allow it to knock you. Feel that wobble because you're so solid, right? Feel that wobble in your stance, Taurus. Like feel it. Feel it, like let yourself have fun with weevils wobbling. You're not going to fall down, right? But you're going to wobble it a little bit. You know, almost like if you watch that, you ever watch Friends, how Phoebe used to run like a kid? Just, just because it was fun. So there is a sense of allowing yourself the indulgence in terms of experiencing something that you haven't experienced in a while. Not necessarily experiencing something that, it doesn't go against your heart space. That's that's not it almost it's almost like bringing you back to your heart space. If that makes any sense. Um now is a lucky time. So, this is my fertility card so Taurus if you're, you know, looking to make some babies, this is a good time. But it's also about um multiplying your abundance. It's also about being surrounded by friends and family. It's about it's about abundance and abundance and abundance and and so many things and you could find abundance where you didn't even know that you had it. And this is about also getting comfortable with the abundance. It's like, listen, if I have all of this around me, do I have to indulge in it all? Or it's like getting secure with the fact that you have it around you for when you need it and you don't have to like it's like you don't have to shove all that cake in your mouth at the same time because you know what it's going to be in the refrigerator for the next week it's going to be there it's like learning to get really confident in your space and what you have around you think on your feet man something's coming this is a fucking curveball i'm telling you you're going to get a communication out of the blue that kind of destabilizes you but destabilizes you in a very fun playful way you could also be returning home or going home or going somewhere that you didn't expect to go you know like almost not staying home the whole time but instead um going somewhere that you didn't expect to go you could be there could be traveling here Time to collaborate. I don't know if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, because that could be as well. Because Sagittarius has got a lot of energy flowing through right now. Uh, Sagittarius, um, ultimately, ultimately, Taurus, the best way to deal with this right now is to 
let yourself be a little bit off balance. Like enjoy the destape. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna take a drink of water. Enjoy the destabilization right now. Um, because this is this is like this is fun, and there's definitely something in the works here. Something that you maybe didn't think that you would try or an opportunity that you didn't expect. But for some reason, it's extremely attractive to you. So, indulge in it. Be here now. There's something beautiful coming into your life. Spotting something absolutely gorgeous or somebody spotting you. Um, this is a Libra energy. So, it's also Venus, Venus owned and operated energy. This is uh, looking really beautiful, looking really gorgeous, uh, wanting maybe to step out in one of those, you know, movies where the awkward girl all of a sudden becomes the gorgeous, the gorgeous, uh, the most popular girl. Like, it's almost like that. It's almost like, um, yeah, it's exactly like that. It's like, it's time to collaborate. So you're putting your best foot forward. You're, you're being recognized as something beautiful or you're positioning yourself to care for yourself, groom yourself and take care of yourself to prepare yourself, to present yourself, because there's definitely somebody that you want to notice you. Mm -hmm. This is, um, you don't know the outcome, right? So, but more or less this right now, this energy is almost like the mask, the visage, the, the mask that you're putting on, not fake, but I do feel like makeup or cosmetics, or like I said, grooming, wanting to put out your best. Um, your best is always, of course, coming from your heart. Um, this is, but I definitely feel like putting on like that mask, putting on the best face for somebody, um, and take a leap of faith. So <laughs> you're not going to know the outcome, dude. Like you can't, like this is, this is not something Taurus that you can predict the outcome of, but you are going to be in an un- usual position of wanting to take a risk and try something really new and I think it's got a lot to do with your friends or your social group people around you kind of encouraging you pushing you and like making you feel like uh just kind of like go with the flow man it really do like go ahead get yourself a makeover or or go ahead like you know, like 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 allow yourself to try that uncomfortable area because it has a real fun playfulness around it this week that is actually going to be a great experience, like not a shitty one. So let yourself believe in it, Taurus. Um, let's go into the angel readings now. Um, there's always an extended video. That link is below. You can you can go over there now, but please stay for the angel card readings um, because they're beautiful voices and I just want you to hear them. Um, but ultimately, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Help the channel grow uh, as you've already done. That subscribe link is right below. And then ring that bell so that you know and get notified when I upload all your favorite content. I put out a new Taurus video every single Thursday. So you'll get notified of that and all the other fun stuff we do here. You can follow me exclusively over on Vimeo as well um, because you'll get actually access to the extended readings like a day earlier if you follow me on Vim Vimeo too and please do join me um, for the daily tarot card readings that I do Monday through Friday on Instagram you can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries over on Instagram and you can interact with me live every day um, let's see what the angels have to say okay let me tell you something. Love is one of the first things I, I'm just saying, Doris. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Um, see, I'm trying to skate around it. I'm not trying to skate around it because I'm a pussy. But this is a general reading. So this could be like, you know, trying something new with your career or trying something that you haven't tried before. But it really is assuming this position of something that you almost feel awkward in presuming, uh, assuming like, am I the prettiest? Am I the most beautiful? But yeah, I am. I want to step out. I want to flaunt myself. There's an inspiration outside of yourself, though, to really be in that flaunting, flirtatious mood. Um, even if you are happily married, it's got to do with flirting with, you know, getting attention from a, a producer that you didn't notice that, that hadn't noticed you or a boss that hadn't noticed you before, you know, flirting with kind of fate right now, uh, love. The heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. 
all is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth. Love, 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 baby. And then we have miracle. Our wings of light, dude, our, I can't, our wings of light surround you and those you love. Okay, this current situation is governed by a higher power. Oh my God. The forces of love are at work. All will turn out well. This is this is out of the blue, man. It's not gonna, it's not normal for you, but ultimately trust your instincts here because you want it. You want it and you have to believe in it. Integrity, be flexible, but also be true to yourself. Um, um, stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe in you. Taurus, let's hop on over to Tarot and get the skinny and the down and dirty. Link is below. I'll see you guys there.